Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be taking you guys to work with me. Um, so I do work the overnight shift 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and I am running late and this is actually my fourth 12 in a row this week. So I'm exhausted. You can't tell because I have makeup on but I am tired. So I'm going to take you guys throughout my whole shift and show you how I organize handling my patients, what it's like to be a travel nurse in a med surge facility, and how it is working as a registered nurse on a overnight ship. This scrub set is from Cherokee Infinity. This is not an ad. I just like their stuff. It's really comfortable. I got this fanny pack from Target and I got this little nurse cap from Amazon because who wants to do their hair when they're going to work? It makes you look like a chef, but whatever. Okay, so in my fanny pack, I like to keep all of my stuff that I need for my shift. And I don't really bring my pocketbook to work, so I'll just bring like a debit card. And then I keep my car keys in the front of my fanny pack as well. So in my fanny pack, I usually keep a colorful pen. And I'll show you guys when I'm writing my notes. Um, A charger. My AirPods. Some units don't let you have your AirPods in, but this place is pretty chill. They don't really be tripping. Um, I keep this like medical, biological odor eliminator in case you go in the patient's room and it stinks. Um, I make sure I always have my clipboard because that's how I stay organized and I stay on top of what I need to do. And I have like some nursing notes in there. And that's it. Everything else is pretty much on the unit. Um, I do always bring a cell phone charger with me. I have my charger. I usually carry my Apple Watch too, but I don't I don't usually um, wear it every night. It just depends on my mood, but I don't know. I don't really see the purpose of it. It's kind of a waste of money. So yeah, let's go to work, and I'm going to show you guys after I clock in, explain my assignments, how many people I got for tonight, etc. So I just finished checking on my patients. Um, so what I do is usually after I get report, just stop and check on them, see if like, the report is kind of accurate, see if they're in any pain, um, if they can move, like just kind of check them out like really quick. Um, I don't usually do like a whole like admission assessment, I just kind of like review, make sure like what the previous nurse told me was accurate. And I had one of my patients was in pain, so I stopped, gave him a PRN payment, and then what I'm going to do is kind of like review um, the charting before my 10 o'clock meds because I have a lot of meds to get for 10 o'clock and I wanted to show you guys that I also do this okay. so every shift I take a blank scrap paper from the printer and I kind of section it off so I kind of section it for medications what to do and charting and I know my nails is long y'all I'm gonna get them cut down so um but the advantage is working at nighttime is management usually doesn't say anything about nails I have three patients and I'm third in line to get an admission so what I do is for the 12 hours, I write down what patients have scheduled meds. Now, of course, they're probably going to call and ask for stuff PRN, but like this scrap paper is kind of like my brain for the night. So I know, okay, this patient has something due at 9, 10, midnight, 2, 4, 6. So then I can kind of organize in my brain. Okay, I'm going to go in his room one time. I'm going to go at 10 and give his 10 o'clock meds with his 9 o'clock meds. And then I'll probably go in again at 1 a.m. to give his midnight and his 2 a.m. meds. Like, I'm not going to keep going back and forth in the room. So I do the same thing for each patient. And then I do, like, my to-do list, like, so I won't forget. Um, but the task list just show you this. I'm not sure if you guys use Epic or Cerner or whatever system. Um, usually it's, like, a task list that tells you what you need to do. But I still like to write it down. So I let myself know that this patient has a wound change, this patient is blood sugars, this patient has a wound change or labs, etc. And then I always kind of write down to remind myself so I don't forget what charting. Um, we have to do assessments 8 p.m., midnight, and 4 a.m. And that's for full body assessments as well as IV. Care plan before the end of the shift, end of shift report. And then I put a question like labs, like in case I have any lab draws or something because this hospital like doesn't have a big phlebotomy team. So we have to do a lot of lab draws, um, wound changes, which I already wrote down here. And then if anybody is on like eyes and nose, make sure if I'm emptying like JP drains or they have like a wound back or anything like that, I'm recording uh, what they're draining out so that I can just make sure I document it. 
because like you never know when you're gonna get busy and um you're gonna forget little things like that so i like to make a note my brain um to remind myself and then of course you can always pull up the computer and go back in the computer system okay guys so it's midnight and um it's been really really slow i have a man i'm about to pass out pepper and then i am going to set up suction for a patient that's getting like mucus secretion in their mouth but i just wanted to show how organized um the utility room is color coded love that for me it's 525 I'm so tired um i'm kind of wrapping it up now so at the end of the ship what i usually do is make sure i'm starting my end of shift reports make sure i did all my lips I'm checking all my wound changes and I'm giving out six o'clock meds but I make sure that I do everything so that I'm done by seven so that I can get my report because like I said at the last minute things always come up like how I just got an admission at four o'clock in the morning and I had to do a whole head to toe admission assessment meds all of that good stuff so yeah this is an update on my little paper and all the stuff that I've done and scratched out. Patient was refusing my Q2 turns. Six o'clock meds love. Six o'clock meds love. Finish all that curtain. This is what I have left to do. I'm ready to go to bed.